Well, good morning, everyone. Hope you're doing good and having a great week. To all my returning subscribers, thank you for your support. And to all our viewers and those recently subscribed, thank you and welcome to the channel. Well, as you saw at the beginning of this video, I was recently back at Bullion Star of Singapore and I was there specifically to pick up their exclusive and brand new Year of the Dragon Super Round minted for next year 2024. This round here is designed in house by Bullion Star and is minted by Asahi Refinery of the United States. For this video, we're going to quickly go through the design and specifications of this round and some of the concerns that I have about its quality control. And then I will move on and talk a little bit about the Malayan Super Round, which is also an exclusive product from Bullion Star. And finally, we're going to take a look at the two Super Rounds, this one plus another one from Asahi that I currently have in my stack. But before we get to all of that, do leave me a like if you enjoy this sort of content and don't forget to share and subscribe. So, let's get into it. Okay, I have a round here that's not in a capsule. So let's start with the specification of this round. This round is minted in 3 nice fine silver. It has a weight of 31.1 grams or 1 tri ounce, a diameter of 39 millimeter, and a thickness of approximately 3 millimeter with a fully readered edge. Here on the office, we can see this beautiful depiction of a Chinese dragon. The dragon is looking upwards and snarling. And right in the fields in the background, you can see some intricate designs. And on the mirror border, we can see the composition of the metal, 1 ounce, 3 nice fine silver, and the name of the silver round, here of the dragon. And just over here, we have a latent security image, which changes to two Chinese characters. Hope you guys can see that. But one of those characters stands for dragon. And just below that, we have the word dragon the year of 2024 and just down here you can see the Minma for Asahi refining. This silver round is in metal orientation so when I flip it to the reverse we can see this beautiful design of all the lunar animals arranged in a circle with the logo of Bullion Star of Singapore right in the center. Again repeated in this border here we have the words year of the dragon, the composition of the metal and the year issue of 2024. Now, if this design here looks familiar to any, any of you guys, it's actually a base on the Royal Mint Completer Coin. And when I spoke to the staff at Bullion Star, they did mention that the inspiration for this design here was taken from the Completer Coin. I think they chose really well. It does look uh, really nice. And when you have them side by side, they actually look pretty similar. These rounds are currently being marketed by Bullion Star at extremely low premiums. Uh, it's actually cheaper to get these rounds than the Singapore Malayan round. When I visited the store uh, last month, I picked up six of these uh, dragon rounds. I currently have five. I gave uh, one away to stack that goal. And having kept these rounds uh, in my collection for the past uh, few weeks, I'm beginning to notice uh, milk spots uh, forming on them. This particular round over here is pretty clear. You can see a little bit of milk spotting just right below. Well, for this second round here, you can see quite a lot of milk spotting just over here. And some right here. This round here seems okay. You can see some milk spot just below here. And for this round, you can see a little bit of milk spotting forming just over here on the neck of the dragon and on this logo over here. And the uh, Bullion Star logo right behind is basically covered in milk spot. And finally, here's the uh, final round. Seems okay. But there's a big milk spot uh, forming here on the reverse where the logo of Bullion Star is. Here are the five super rounds from my initial purchase. Uh, with the dips in silver spot prices over the last few days, I did make my way to Bullion Star again and I picked up another 5 of these Year of the Dragon Silver Rounds. 
as you can see over here uh, these rounds uh, look to be in much better condition I don't see any milk spots on them and hopefully uh, the milk spots are not going to form on these rounds well anyway i'm going to get these rounds into capsules and i'm going to arrange them here on the table along with the singapore malay round as well as the asahi year of the dragon silver rounds right i have everything arranged on the table and what you see over here are 50 ounces of pure silver just on the far end are 20 singapore malay rounds there are 15 from Tianzi and 5 from RMC. Just in the middle are the Year of the Dragon Bullion Star Silver Rounds that I just showed you. And just over here we have 20 Year of the Dragon Asahi Rounds that I picked up recently from uh, Bullion Exchanges in New York City. The eagle eye among you would have noticed that one of the Bullion Star Dragon is not in a capsule. Uh, that's on purpose because I wanted to compare the Bullion Star Dragon with the Asahi Dragon. As you can see, they're both quite different, although they are both uh, minted by the same uh, refinery. I do like both designs. And both these rounds are actually my first uh, two rounds depicting the Year of the Dragon for 2024. And I specifically kept on both these rounds from the capsules because I'm going to put them into a tray which is this collection tray over here this tray is manufactured in China it's actually quite cheap I think I paid around ten dollars for it it's brand new and still in the packaging and for this tray you can put in 12 silver rounds and I thought this would be a great uh, tray for me to collect all the dragons that I'm going to try to collect uh, for next year I will start with the two rounds that I have here and I'm going to place them into this tray which already have the capsules in them A few moments later Okay, I have the two dragon rounds in the tray now looking uh, really awesome and it's certainly going to be a challenge to try to fill up this tray with all the dragon silver designs that are going to be released for next year but I'm going to give it a go and I think once this tray is filled up it's going to look really awesome Okay, I have the collection there on the far end, looking really awesome. And before I end this video, I'd just like to quickly talk about the Singapore Malayan Round. This is the design that I'm sure many of you guys are now quite familiar with. There are currently two different designs. Here we have the earlier round, which is minted by RMC. See the logo of RMC right below. And here we have the current round, which is minted by uh, Tianzi Precious Metals of China and the logo is right below Now both Tianzi and RMC are no longer in operation So the rounds that you see uh, in the Singapore market right now are the only ones that have been minted by both these companies However, a Bullion Star is trying to get a brand new rounds minted by Asahi Refining and as I mentioned in some of my previous video uh, those rounds will have the same design but they'll have the Asahi logo I just below the orchid. Now having spoken to some of the staff at Bullion Star, it appears that some of the Asahi Malayan rounds have arrived in Singapore, but there were some quality control issues. I believe uh, those rounds were milk spotted. And Bullion Star uh, sent uh, those rounds back to Asahi. So currently uh, those rounds are still not available here in Singapore, but it's going to be really awesome if I can get those rounds and make a collection of three different Malayan rounds one from RMC, one from Tianzi and one from Asahi so what we have over here are representations of Asahi refining silver rounds and those are exclusively for sale by Bullion Star Singapore and with that I guess that will do it for this video thank you very much for watching hope you all enjoyed my review of the brand new Bullion Star Year of the Dragon silver rounds as well as a quick look at the Asahi Year of the Dragon Rounds and the Singapore Malayan Rounds. If you do have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Otherwise, don't forget to leave me a like if you have enjoyed this content and be sure to hit that share and subscribe buttons down here if you have not done so. 
as always from everybody over here y'all please take care be safe and have a nice day